It's Tuesday. You can probably see behind us. We got some more snow last night. Path is nice and clear. All clear. And today was the magnificent day that Walt Disney World announced the Lion King Festival. It's happening in mid-May. And we're training for this virtual Lion King series, those 5Ks. Super stoked to be out and running today. Hey guys, welcome back to Fun Fiero. I'm Andy. I'm Liz. Guys, we're here to share our fun, love, and passion for all things Disney with you guys. So thanks for hanging out with us today. If you're brand new to our channel, please consider subscribing for Disney content every single day. If you like the video, give it a big thumbs up and a share. Like Liz said, we are training for our Run Disney 5Ks here for the summer challenge series that's going on with the Lion King. Mm. And <laughs> We are super excited. We are. That in mid-May, just My in time. My favorite show. Just in time for our vacation. In June. In June, the Lion King, the festival of the Lion King. Reopens. Reopens, it's I'm coming so back. I'm super excited. We've missed it so much. Oh yeah. It's my favorite show. Uh, and just so you guys know, if you're like totally brand new to our channel and have no idea what we're doing out here running <laughs> and talking to you guys. Um, again, we are training, but. <laughs> Right now we are warming up yeah. and uh, this week, so our warm up is 10 seconds running. Actually we start walking for three minutes and then 10 seconds running, 50 seconds walking. And then we do, well this week we're doing 35 seconds running, 30 seconds walking for yeah. the actual 30 minutes of run walk. Yeah. Then we do another 10 minutes of leisurely jogging as we cool down and then five minutes of actual walk cool down yeah so, so that's we kind of the whole got started yeah we just got started um can't wait to see how this week progresses yeah. uh it's a beautiful day for once on a tuesday it's cold it is cold but all the snow from last night melted so we got super lucky on the path it's yeah. clear i mean here look at this would you have thought that last night we had five inches of snow yeah it's true the Denver sun melted it. And now it's like, this is all that remains. remains. But the path is clear, so we're good to go. So I know you guys have seen that view before, but it never gets old. It's so pretty. Again, that's our view. But so is that. Way better than this. Oh yeah. We're doing this 35 seconds running, 30 seconds walking, and it is beating our tails yeah, so it we're basically halfway through we're almost 16 minutes in that all behind us I don't know if you guys can really tell but that that's all it's been all uphill so that's been really hard <laughs> and trying to keep our breathing somewhat under control and our heart rate under control. But here's the good news. Basically where that, where that bush is up here, it flattens out <laughs> and then it's downhill for a little while. It's not a bad idea. Not a bad idea at all. By no way are we sponsored <laughs> by the massage place. But it would have been a good idea. The, that would have been a, oh. so calves are a little tight right now and everything seems to be uphill both uh, ways. <laughs> it's kind of uphill both ways in the snow <laughs> guys it's been pretty much smooth sailing this whole run except for this little stretch right here not fun but doable but we did this so we could get that view and i don't mean the view of, the construction. of this construction but look at the mountains we really do just love this view it never gets old Sounds i mean that's different. that's golden colorado over there right there in the valley we did it we 
are done with this run. It was and hard. Guys, it really, it beat our butts. It did. It right? was. We, we did the, it's a lot of uphill running. Yeah. On the path that we took this time. Yeah, it was a lot. And then, but just adding that extra five seconds or running 35 and walking 30, it made a difference. We felt it. We've been going up by two second increments. So the five seconds, I didn't expect it to be that hard, but it kind of was. It was, it was exhausting this time. Um, oh, shins, I don't know, my new shoes. Shins are hurting a little bit more than normal. Calves are a little bit tight, which yeah. explains the shins. I know this one was a little bit easier for me. New shoes, so not nearly as much pain as it had been. Left, left calves a little bit tight. Having a fairy foot over some of the snow. It's never a good thing for me when I'm trying to run. It just tightens up everything. It's so tense. Yeah. But my shoes did great. There you go. Mine did awesome. Uh, I really love uh, our new Brooks running shoes. Yeah, not uh, sponsored. Not, not sponsored. Not sponsored. Uh, by anybody. By anybody. <laughs> <laughs> we are doing it. We're 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 upping our goals. We're yeah. we're pushing ourselves, but we're doing it in a safe way. Yeah. That's going to keep this prolonged. Again. Yeah. We're not, not in to it be for cheesy. The short, but we're in for the marathon haul. Huh? Yeah, we're, this is a this is not a sprint. This is a marathon, right? So yeah. that's what we ultimately want to do, and that's what we're training for. Yeah. <laughs> so we're not trying to set any world records with a 5K. No. Or anything like that. I mean, just completing them is like yay. It's a really big accomplishment, and yeah. we encourage that. So, like, if you guys ever get a chance to do a 5K. Whether you're walking it, you're running it, you're run walking it, it. <laughs> um, do it. It is an accomplishment. It is. When you finish that, you yeah. did it. You did it. Yeah. And it, it just means that much more to you. Um, yeah. Hopefully, we've been inspired, you know, even if it's just one of you <laughs> yeah. uh, to join us in this, uh, it was worth it. And Absolutely. I, uh, and it was worth it for us, too. Yeah. I am. We're definitely just pushing the boundaries of our determination yeah and we're doing it we're doing it step by step we're we're thinking it through we're not just getting out here and running and going all out and, and hurting ourselves to where we can't continue to do it that would be bad and we're having fun and we're doing it together mostly fun yeah I'd say 20% of that, 25% of that run was not fun. There was five minutes that was absolutely horrid miserable. for sure. But you know what? At least it was, at least it was not snowing while we were doing that it. That is so true. It wasn't snowing. There wasn't a whole lot of <laughs> snow on the path. There, these are things to be thankful for. Yeah. So anyways, almost hit that branch. Ouch. Guys, um, we'll see you on Thursday. Yeah. Happy Thursday, guys. So it's uh, definitely a little bit warmer today. Yeah. It's humid. It is humid. It's actually kind of, it's kind of like spitting on us right now. And, uh, but yet the sun's out and it's like 40 something. So I'll take it, you know, <laughs> it's uh, definitely going to be a nicer running day than Tuesday. We are going to do the exact opposite route that we did Tuesday just to see how it plays out. Yeah, two more sets. Yeah, two, okay, two more sets of warming up and then we're we're doing our run. But it'll just be another way to take in the scenery. Yep. And uh, another kind there, of workout. Right? So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> so right back there, guys, you can see here. There's the scenery. Look at that. A little bit of snow on the mountains there. A little bit of haze, fog, whatever you want to call it. So pretty. Well, there's a view we don't really get to ever show you guys look at that so that's going towards denver from the mountains looks like we're getting a new gas station look at that i have no idea what it's going to be though so let us know in the comments if you think it's going to be like a shell or chevron or conoco or who knows leave your best guess in the comments just some uh scenery here there's the uh, mountains that you guys are normally used to seeing, those foothills. I wanted to bring you over here. And this is a really nice green space that is here next to the park. But if you guys look out there and you see these holes, these little mounds. You don't see them right now. These mounds 
have little tunnels in between them all and this is for the prairie dogs the prairie dogs are really cute little guys but they're you know can be a nuisance definitely around you know housing and you know just because they dig these holes in these tunnels and you know ground can collapse but this is like their little safe space right here which is really cool so we haven't shown that to you guys before wanted to show you and maybe as the spring continues we'll actually be able to show you the prairie dogs themselves they have a really neat network and sounds to alert of you know up and coming danger or impending doom <laughs> So there you go, but this is our park. This is what we normally run around, but this is just a different perspective for you guys. We, like I said, we are done for the day. It was a, it was a rough, it was a rough run today. Um, started off really good because it was feeling really good, but then the humidity just got worse. Yeah. The, the wind just cut, there's this constant breeze today and the humidity is just setting in with the chilly wind and it just made it miserable. My hand literally holding this camera is freezing. So, um, and I did the whole and I be able to feel fingers and toes again and then yeah. just that spiking pain. In I my wish foot. we I wish we were running in Florida. Yeah, that'd be way easier for me. Yeah, like doing like run Disney stuff at yeah. Disney. That would be cool. Yeah, that'd be really super cool. But it's gonna warm up. It is gonna warm up. It I is warming these, up. We don't have these issues in the summertime. No. So I was like, oh, but at the winter time, it just gets me. Yeah, the struggle is real right now, but we are pushing through it. Because it's, I mean, it's spring. It is. we keep getting springtime snow. Well, on, spring. April is Colorado's second snowiest month. Yeah. So we, we, but we. But it can stop anytime now. We, we knew what to expect. We, this is not hitting us by surprise but it's darn right chilly right now. So we're just gonna wrap this up right now and we're gonna talk to you guys on Saturday. So I think it's supposed to be warmer. Yeah, it's supposed to be like the mid 60s mm. on Saturday. So Super stoked about that. Very stoked about that. So we will see you guys on Saturday. Don't go anywhere. Right. Look at this guys. Oh dang, he just went away. So that was a vole. Yeah. Uh, I thought it was a mole and then I was like, no. No, no, no. Because, yeah. Anyways, not, not like burrowing mole, but a vole, which oh. does go underground too, but like a chipmunk with no tail. That'll teach you to put up your camera. Literally, I, know, I stuck right? it in my pocket. We were done. There we were was. almost home. And yeah, like I've never seen, I've never seen one in real life before. That's so cool. I love Colorado. Yeah. <laughs> Nature rocks here. Oh yeah, it does. And it was so neat standing on top of the fence. That was kind of weird. Yeah, he was like sitting there, he like was taking advantage of human food oh. for humans being around and having food. Oh, for sure. Yeah, he was having some backyard fun there for yeah, sure. He was. <laughs> Happy Saturday, y'all. We're back. We're on the track. We're doing a 40-minute run today. We're gonna put ourselves through our paces. Yeah. So bad news though. So I don't know if you guys are familiar with what sciatica is, um, but it's uh, where your sciatic nerve is pinched <laughs> because of a like ruptured disc or a slip disc and so anyways I have that <laughs> and it's something that I battle with all the time but it is flared up today and it's our long run and we're gonna be running for 40 minutes today of course we're still warming up it hurts <laughs> a lot I've stretched out done all the right stuff but I don't know so hopefully we'll make it through it. But this feels like the week of the injury. Yeah. Um, yeah, because I'm suffering a little bit with shin splints on my left leg. Yeah. Mainly because the pernea and that really just tenses everything up. So I'm trying to take it super, super easy, not overdoing it and not causing any more injury, but very aware. So I guess it's good that we're both kind of down the same week. Yeah. So today's video might be uh a very quick one but it is a beautiful day out yeah a little windy it Light. is like almost 60 degrees yeah great weather yeah great weather there is a breeze uh so kind of annoying but i think as we as we plug along here that will actually become a very good thing it's a very loud
loud car going by. That is a very loud car. Uh, it's two something's wrong. Of paint. It yeah. needs some body work done Something's too. wrong with his muffler. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't work. <laughs> I don't even think there was one on there. But seriously, I mean, did you see his bumper? So, anyways, guys, we're uh, we're gonna just uh, get to it and see how this goes. So, yeah, cross wish our us fingers. luck. <laughs> Another reason we're back here at the track is because between the shin splints that Liz has been having. And with my back today, <laughs> it just seems to make way more sense to kind of keep it nice and flat. Yep. So that's what we're doing. And hopefully there will be good results out of all of this. <laughs> we are 30 minutes into our 40 minute run. Whoo, it is, uh, it could be worse on my back. Liz, how are you doing? Yeah, car is a little elevated. Okay. Everything else is good. So, so far we're doing okay, guys. Um, back Not is... Not yet. No. <laughs> um, the back is a little bit more limbered up after, you know, running for a little bit. That or it's gone a little bit numb. I don't know. One of the two. But we have less than 10 minutes to go. We are doing this. We will have a full catch up at the end. Also notice we got run belts. Yeah. See? So that's new. So I want you guys to see that we did 40 minutes. 14, 20 something minute mile. Uh, heart rate's a just a tad bit over where it, where it should be uh whatever i don't know if you guys can tell off in the background air quality today is junk yeah uh high pollen alert it is just kind of nasty for air which is funny and i say that's funny because colorado you think you know rocky mountains pure fresh air pure water but the Denver area is kind of like this sinkhole. And I don't mean like a sink, but it's like a sinkhole of... Uh, like the LA Basin. Like the LA Basin. So just everything, all the pollution, bad air quality, pollen, all that stuff just kind of sits. Yeah. And it just doesn't go anywhere. And uh, so that could explain the higher than normal heart rate. But it's not out of control. It's definitely below my max. Uh, how about you? Yeah. Okay. So we're good. Yeah. <laughs> and the other thing, guys, sorry, I got to put these glasses back on. It's bright. It's very bright today. Um, we did it. Yep. So we and did it. Now we've got to cool down. Yeah. And then we'll have a, a sit down with you guys for sure. Kind of explain nutrition and how yep. things are going this week. But we're going to finish cooling down. We'll be right back. We're done. And <laughs> this has been another hard run. Yeah. Easier than the last two hard runs. Okay. Definitely my new shoes are doing way better. All right. Definitely not going uphill really helped that left leg. But, and it really was just my left leg where I said the perinia, it gets super, super tight. And then, yeah, it kind of was pulling. But we did the run just fine today. No problems with it. You know, a little twingy at first. And then after the first five minutes, you know, it was just going really good. So, happy about that. Good for you. Yeah. I had a, it was a struggle the entire time. Uh, uh, but he did it. Sitting down right now is actually killing my back. I don't know why we're doing this sitting down after after thinking about it. But we'll, we'll finish it up here. Um, I don't know. It's just that sciatica is one of those crazy things that... Um, you know, I think you can actually get it fixed with surgery, but it's one of those things that it's not bad enough or often enough to where I think I need surgery. Um, yeah. so like, that's always the last option, right? So, um, I think that another thing that helps is the, the more you strengthen your core, um, and you, you know, you kind of work those stomach muscles as you're running, as you're working out, you're doing your strength training, all of that type of stuff. The stronger your core is, the less often it flares up. It was a it was a struggle of a run, but we finished it. And we had a pretty good time. 
even with all the struggles, man. Yeah. So, you know. 14, 28 pace, 14, yeah. 28 mile pace. Uh, not horrible, not the greatest, but not horrible. No, and we did uh, basically three miles. Yeah. Um, all in all, I, I was so proud of us. Yeah, I, we did good. I, yeah. So we did a 40 minute run. That was our longest one uh, yet as far as uh, not, well, was the, was the, 3.1 miles to 5k longer yeah, yeah it was like it 45 was. minutes it was yeah minutes, so that was our that was our longest yeah, run it was our longest one but this was our i think our best run even though we had all these challenges this week uh it's been a challenging week and i don't know why all of a sudden it's uh you know we did a 5k you know basically and now it's we're having yeah, all these issues had, but yeah but then the, the weather's gone up it's gone down it's gotten cold it's gotten really super hot when it gets super cold for me i have health issues that go along with that and this man this was beautiful weather today it was feeling awesome and we were able to push it and not hurt ourselves and still do everything so yay yay after feeling so just horrible on thursday and like a complete failure because man man my left leg was just it was the humidity which is stupid but it wasn't all that cold but the humidity and getting ready to rain it just everything on the left hand side of my body just tightened up so this was way better let's talk about nutrition <laughs> Um, and we've done really good this week on nutrition. Um, actually, it was, it's been actually, if there was a hard thing this week, it was actually trying to make sure that I got all of my macros in there this week. That was the yeah. hardest part this week. How I about you? I struggled with that too. Okay. Where it's just like, ooh, not meeting those carbs. Ooh, but hey, I got the protein. <laughs> so I'm right. like, oh. Um, I don't know. It was just an interesting week all the way around. Definitely staying hydrated, which is really good. Yeah. Um, I committed to myself. Uh, eight weeks ago, guys, it's been eight weeks since we've been doing I know, isn't these. That crazy. Um, but eight weeks ago, I made sure that I was going to stay hydrated and I was going to drink uh, at least a hundred ounces of water per day, uh, which is uh, you know just under a gallon, but uh, you know which is 128 ounces, right? Yeah, so that's what you're doing. Yeah, and I'm, I'm I'm usually almost closer to that, but I'm definitely over 100 ounces a day. These little run belts are pretty cool too. Yeah, they um, are. Not sponsored by these guys or anything no. like that, so I'm not trying to promote them, but definitely having a run belt. Yeah, um, it's kind of cool. What are these six ounce bottles? Yeah, like six ounce bottles. They're yeah. a little bit hard to get out of their little sleeves. Yep. And it's on the other one, man, I pulled it out and pulled the top off of it one time. I was like, whoa. Yep. But you know, it was pretty cool having the water. It did get warm being next to my body. So, but I didn't have to carry it, carry it. I think ice cubes are in order, at least one okay. per little bottle. And I pretty much finished my off. So I have very little water left in there. <laughs> Well, uh, it was it was nice to have because and we was. we did the the the, um, the hydration packets in there so that you know just it gives it a little bit of flavor and a little bit of carbs in there to kind of give you a little extra boost. So it was I nice. Just drink water. So uh, this week I've lost a pound and a half. Uh, so a total of because we did not report this last week, I actually gained a half a pound last week, which was really weird. Uh, met all my macros, did the exercise, but I gained a half a pound. But this week this week I lost a half, or one and a half pounds. So that was cool. Um, down a total of six and a half pounds in eight weeks. Not setting any records or anything, but it's coming <laughs> off, which is good. Yeah, I'm up 0.4 pounds this week. Um, but my clothes are fitting better. So, you know, when I'm starting yeah. to see results. That's awesome, right? <laughs> right, so I'm like, bye-bye inches. Um, but yeah, I definitely feel like I'm, I'm adding some muscle here and there, you know, but it's like, hey, tighten on up let's just keep running there you go well guys that's it that's uh that's the whole recap of everything um thanks for hanging out with us and join uh joining us on this uh, adventure that we're on to yes. to do a run disney event hopefully <laughs> in person one day but mm. do a marathon one day oh, yeah. uh, of we're course we have it. our our 5k or you know may the 4th uh be with you 5k coming up Next in month. in may mm -hmm. yep uh so can't wait to do that but guys thanks for hanging out with us through all of this and, and yeah. listening to us <laughs> ramble and all of this but <laughs> Um, if you will, give this video a big thumbs up. It helps it out on YouTube. It helps it get seen. helps our channel out too. Ding that notifications bell. That way you're going to know every time we put out a video in a short. And guys, just smash the subscribe <laughs> button. Smash it. And until next time, get out there, have some fun, and, and we'll, we'll see you on the flip, flip side. side.